My young brother rang me one day. He said, World Championships, why don't you come to and have a game? And then I thought, why not? <laughs> why not? Dad went to the war in 1939 and he left us a table tennis table on the back veranda and that certainly sharpens you up. And for sixpence, all the kids could go down on Sunday morning and play tennis and that went on for all those war years. Dad was the inspiration there because he said that if I were to save my fare over, which was 84 pounds to England, he would encourage me and we'd play tennis. And so we did. And we practised and practised and practised. And they all came down to the Maloya. And as I stepped on the boat, he handed me the money. And he said, now you go and spend that. You, that's your tennis. He said, that's your tennis. <laughs> One of the girls, Anne Goldsworthy, was on the boat and Anne and I um, started playing tennis together. When we got there, lo and behold, we ended up playing together at Wimbledon. We played ourselves into the tennis. Every day I love to get up and come down, but on Sunday, and there's no one on the courts, after lunch I bring Leo down and I have basketballs for service practice, and he loves it. He jumps and pants and goes on. This time, uh, back to Croatia, to you, Mag, this beautiful new tennis centre, playing with Claude Wenzel, he's the captain of the over-85s men, and I'll be playing with Claude in the mixed doubles, and I'll be playing with Rosemary from Canada in the women's doubles, and I'll be playing with myself in the individuals. For me, this is what's worked for me. I think it's getting up every morning and leaving that house and having my dog has helped enormously because it means I go out more than once. Not stopping in that house, you know, not until I have to, ever. <laughs>